All right, here we are looking at another plumbing project that we went through. And what I've done here is I've removed, as you can see if I back up a little bit, is just an access port. In the RV, of course, this is a, uh, as, you can, as I pull this down, you can see this is a basement model. So it has these big doors that flip up. Of course, down here is the uh, propane tank switches. Of course, there's a lot of things in here. We've got wiring. Here's the main wiring harness that goes up to the control panel. Uh, inside the RV, wiring heading out, drain, of course, 112 or 120 volt stuff right here. Uh, refrigerator drain, uh, tank drains right here. Of course, come out down here. Of course, again, that's the refrigerator drain. And you can see back here, this is the gray water tank right here. Of course, there's its partner back there, the black water tank. Uh, here is the copper going up to one, uh, the uh, gas for the stove. But what I want to focus on quickly under here is this right here. This is the P-trap coming out of the shower. The shower basically sets right above here. And so what I wanted to show you is just quickly some of the work I did right up under there. Of course, I can't get you in there to see it well. Maybe I can. Let's see what I can do here. You can see it. Right there is the bottom of the shower. Of course, there's a shower drain, which, uh, let me bring it back out. Looks uh, real similar. This is not the one that came out. Uh, let me turn my camera around here. This is the one that I bought and didn't like and decided not to use. I went with a different one. Now, the one I took out was just super corroded. Chrome was eat up. It was really funky. Of course, what you have here is just real problems getting into it. And number two, right here, there's a nut. Probably, if you can see it, there's a nut here, of course, where it screws here. Uh, let me find it here. The piece I use, of course, is right here. This screws onto the drain I showed you. Then, of course, the PVC glue's there. Of course, this has been on for 13 years. And so, as you can see up in there, of trying to get to it, 13 years of stuff is a challenge, let's say. And of course, as you can see right here, that's the vent stack. Uh, well, that's the vent stack. Runs up right next to the refrigerator to vent this tank. And of course, this goes into the vent stack. If I could get you to see it right. It's right there. There's the pipe that goes over to the vent stack. That I did not replace because I couldn't. Excuse me, I didn't replace this. Of course, as you can see, I had the shower pan out, which is right here. This goes up right into the shower right here and so if you see me reaching up in here that's the pan I'm tapping on actually the foam of the shower pan sets on a wood platform so I replaced all of this that and then of course the drain needless to say that was quite the job just for accessibility and it uh, but to get the drain out you had no other choice to do it this all had to come off there was no other way because as you can see on my uh, sample drain here basically the nut right here you see that nut and there's a seal here that's you know this fits this goes from the inside of course the nut goes up on there and then this as you can see then screws on there and there's a big uh, screws on there and there's a seal sorry I'm trying to do all this one-handed of course and remember our ABS pipe that we had from before, of course, an ABS connector. So this project right here was pretty significant and the drain was really bad. It did not leak, but it, it just, the, the, just to change the drain out, which looked horrible in the shower, which I'll show you on another video. Uh, it was quite uh, challenging to do. It was very difficult to get, and very difficult to get off because even though a lot of these nuts come off, this the accessibility of them was just virtually uh, impossible and before you could pull the drain pull the I mean before you could pull the pan or anything uh, uh, this all had to be disconnected because you can't get the pan out with this in and uh, if you try you're gonna ruin a pan and I did some looking in case this happened and I needed a pan I think they were about two hundred and fifty dollars just for the pan so I wanted to be very careful and make sure that I didn't ruin it 
so that's basically it I know we can't see a lot in here and I really can't get the camera angles in there to look at it but I'll talk about what I did on the shower work when we look at the shower video and again it just runs over and just drains right into the shower stack main thing I wanted to show you in here is just the accessibility of a lot of things if you get into plumbing projects in RV especially and this type of class C where it has basically two floors because what you have is with these you have the main subfloor which is the RV and then you have this like subfloor right here that runs out throughout the whole RV uh, that that uh, in these basement models so you get very very limited space and boy you can really really this project really had me pour my hair out I like to never got that off but uh, we'll look at the shower on the inside here in just a moment and uh, show you how it uh, turned out looking from the inside so uh, let's go have a look on the inside okay <music> 